Hey, good morning and welcome to Faith in Five. And if you have your coffee, go ahead and take a sip. I got mine. And let's get started. So I'm going to cover a daily verse. Came in my inbox and a lot of the time these daily verses speak to me. And I want to share with you on how the Holy Spirit's talking to me and how I believe the Holy Spirit wants me to share with you. So if you have your Bibles, get them out and turn to Romans 12, 12. And now I'm going to quote the NLT version on this particular verse. And Romans 12, 12 says, Rejoice in our confident hope. Be patient in trouble and keep on praying. Now, I believe anyone that's watching this, anyone that's lived a few years of life, has went through times of trouble, trials, tribulations, setbacks, right? Obstacles, sometimes obstacles that seem unpassable. Doesn't matter if you're a person of faith or not, you're going to have challenges in your life. And even as a believer, Jesus said there will be trials and troubles, but fear not, for I have overcome the world, right? In this verse here in Romans, it starts out, look, rejoice, okay? Rejoice in our confident hope. So the thing about believers, those that are saved, we have a confident hope in our faith in our God, Father, God Almighty, and in Jesus Christ, who died for our sins, beat death, resurrected, sent it into the Father, sets at the right hand of Father God Almighty, making intercession for us. But he's also sent as a comforter in the Holy Spirit. So that's where our confidence comes from, and that's where we should rejoice, right? So be patient in trouble. Sometimes troubles, okay, aren't always a bad thing. And I know that's hard to believe, right? But I had a f Christian friend tell me, uh, we had a conversation, had a minor setback. We were engaging in some conversation and he had stated that God both allows and causes things to happen. And he supported it in Bible verses relative to that bold statement. And it's true. And sometimes these trials and tribulations we go through or setbacks, God is trying to teach us something, show us something. Maybe it's just to slow down a little bit, right? To prevent us from a much larger tragic situation or to utilize us for his glory and a witness. So rejoice in the confidence of that hope, be patient in trouble, and keep on praying. God wants to hear from you. God wants your prayers, right? He knows your heart, your mind, your soul, every hair on your head, but just like any biological dad, he wants to hear from his children. He wants to hear what's on their mind and their hearts, what their needs are. He wants us to rely on him and be confident in our hope. So that's today's Faith in Five from Romans 12, 12. And look, listen, make it a great day, right? Make it a great day because you truly have a choice in making it a great day and why you're at it. Launch each day with purpose, navigate with principles, and explore with passion.